Welcome back everybody. It is the very first day of 2021. We made it through a horrible year, finally. But Zane and I are set up on this ditch in my buddy's pasture. There's been a few geese out here this past week. Uh, he actually hunted it with his brother-in-law, uh, I think last Saturday when we had all that snow and they did pretty good. They shot quite a few of them and uh, now they're already coming back here. There's a natural spring right here that comes up out of this ditch and uh, this never freezes. It stays open all the time and the, the geese love it out here in this pasture and so do the ducks. Uh, but this morning's already been crappy for us so I'll put this in perspective for everybody. I've I've gone waterfowl hunting four times since opening day in November. You know, the first day I hunted the duck blind, and then uh, I've gone three more times after that. And all three times I was never able to hunt. <laughs> we got beat, or I got beat, to where I was going every single time. And I've noticed that I've noticed that that's a pretty normal thing anymore. Uh, our waterfowl hunting in our area has changed dramatically in the past 10 years. You know. Uh, it's to the point now where you really have to, if you want to be able to hunt a good spot or a good field on the weekend, you got to have it leased. I mean, you got to start throwing hundred dollar bills around to these farmers in order to be able to hunt these spots. It's tough for us because we uh, obviously work all week and I don't have the ability to hunt during the week. And, uh, you know, that leaves us to be able to hunt on the weekends, which one, the birds get hunted in our area instantly like they hit a field the next morning there's somebody hunting them in that field so you know if you do have a field that you're looking at to hunt on the weekend it's usually not going to last because it'll usually get hunted before the weekend and then if it does last till the weekend you're going to have to sleep at the field or in most cases the field's already locked up and leased by somebody you know the farmers are really starting to uh, realize you know the value in their property when it comes to hunting rights and uh, you know in that way it's really changed a lot in the last 10 years you, it's to the point now where you really need the property lease for the the hunting rights in order to be able to hunt it so uh, you know it's I don't know if it's a good thing or if it's a bad thing it's just you know the way it is I'm not complaining about it uh, you know, I'll tell you a story about when I was stationed in Kansas, I was just a private and I wanted to hunt out there and, you know, the public land, I had a hard time with public land, people that uh, pretty much thought they owned public land and would pretty much bully me right out of where I was hunting out there. So I finally said the heck with it and I went and tried to find, started knocking on doors with farmers and uh, pretty much got laughed at, you know, I'd knock on the door and ask if I was able to hunt and let them know, you know, I was stationed out there and this, that, and everything else. And they'd pretty much laugh at me and ask how much money I had. You know, at that time, I was just a private in the Army. I had just enough money to put gas in my vehicle to go ask them to hunt, let alone pay them to hunt. So it's really, the hunting has really changed over the last 10 years. I don't know if it's a good thing or a bad thing. Uh, you guys can comment what you guys think on that, but it's to the point now where you really have to start throwing money around to get access to good hunting. Uh, you know, there's good good hunting ground is so valuable. It really is. And, you know, I'm realizing that more and more as I get older and how, how things change. But anyways, Zane's got a bunch of dive bomb uh, silhouettes up. We're just going to hide in this ditch right here. I don't know when these geese are going to fly. It's probably going to be mid-morning, so we probably got a bit of a wait ahead of us, but we're out. We're hunting. I haven't been able to waterfowl hunt in forever. I've tried to waterfowl hunt numerous times, but failed each time uh, due to people already being there. So we'll give it a try and turn you on if uh, anything starts flying here.
Where are they gone? Suck right in, Zane. Yeah. Hoping they're gonna suck in a little closer. Yeah. Well, we just had the first group show up here and we were able to pull three out of it. They ended up, instead of landing on the bank or on this high spot we were on, they landed on the second one over, which is a little bit of a far shot for us. But. Do you think we should set up over here? Just in case they do that again. Or just move those decoys out of that spot. Yeah, let's do that. We were able to get a green head that got up off the creek too. <laughs> when we shot the geese, that green head came up off the creek and flew over us, unfortunately for him. Oh, Zane. I think they're coming at us. They're either gonna bank and go into the pond right there or they're gonna keep coming. They're behind the trees now. off on the inside.
They come over, Zane, we better shoot them. That one wants in. Well, we finally had a few more geese come and the darn thing's banked behind us. And we were trying to hide up against this bank looking that way while well, they flared right on us behind us. So then we had to turn around and shoot and we only ended up getting one. And uh, we had another one that went down over by the creek. So we got two out of the group, which is pretty terrible shooting, but just awkward. We're, next time we got to keep a close eye behind us. So if they cup in like that behind us, we can shoot them in the chest instead of trying to pass shoot them over our head like that. But we're getting some shooting. We're having fun. Hopefully a few more, a few more geese show up here. Zane's going to get that one that sailed down out there. I hear a bunch more coming and Zane's not. Oh, right here. Come right over the tree line. You better get ready. Two of them, didn't, didn't two of them go down? I don't know if that one was down to or just landed with the other one. I had two geese that sailed out into this field right out in here, so I see one of them. There's actually two of them that went down out here though. Boy, what a bloody mess that one is.
Jeez. That one is really pumping some blood out. There's another one out here somewhere. Don't know where. There it is right there. We are one goose away from a limit, and Zane is a gunman. He kind of missed out on the last group getting that, getting that uh, cripple. So pressure's going to be on Zane to get the last goose. No, they're going to our right. They don't seem to really know what they're doing. I hear more coming behind. Or I hear them somewhere. That's going to do it on uh, the very first day of 2021. We had a fun morning. We ended up killing uh, nine geese and three ducks. And we had a lot of fun doing it. I'm a little rusty on my shooting. I haven't uh, really shot any waterfowl since uh, opening day out of the duck mine. So it took me a few groups to get the hang of it again, but we got her, we got her going and got to kill a few geese this is a really cool spot uh, with a spring coming out you can see the water bubbling out of it right now right in there, you don't want to step there. no that'd be a really bad place to step but my camera is running out I want to thank everybody for watching and uh, hopefully we have some more coming soon at some point Well, Zane just finished out our limit. As we were picking up, we had a group come in and Zane shot his last goose to make our limit. And my my uh, camera's just about dead, so we might have to finish it out with a GoPro, but we got her done. We got, we got our limit of geese, finally. As we were picking up, all these geese were laying just like this, and then things cupped right in. The five decoys, five dive bomb decoys standing out there with a jet sled. Unbelievable. There it lays right there. Number 10, we finished her up. Well, that's officially a wrap now that we got our last goose. There's one of these had a bunch of white on its head I wanted to show you guys right there. Look how pretty that is. But. There she be.